In this workbook of six printing, the second sheet in is called Page Break Preview Sheet. That reminds us that there is a Page Break Preview button. It's located in the status bar at the bottom of the screen below the sheet tabs, off to the right. Button on the left is Normal. Next button over is Page Layout. You might have seen how that works in the previous movie. And then to the right, Page Break Preview. Usually when you make this choice, Excel zooms back a bit. Excel assumes that I want to print the entire active part of this worksheet. I'm going to scroll to the right. I didn't indicate what it is I wanted to print, but that is what happens when we choose Page Break Preview. On the far right, you'll see a, a blue line. The page numbering at first might strike you as strange. They refer to these as watermarks, but off to the left we see page 1, then page 18. So if I were to scroll down relatively quickly, page 1, 2, 3, etc., this goes down to page 17. Excel assumes I want to print everything, and of course I don't in this case. So, what do I do? Grab that solid blue line on the right and just pull it in. I don't want to print any of that. Now, I certainly could if I wanted to, or print it later by itself. I'm going to cut it off right there. If I do nothing special now and print, you see what's going to be happening. Columns A through G will be printed one by one on all those pages. Then I'll jump over and print this part because it says page 18. Now, will this fit on the page and be readable? I don't know, but here's a dotted line. I'll click and drag it to the right. And let's go look at print preview. I can either press Control P, nice keystroke shortcut, or go to the File tab and choose Print. We'll be in the same place. There it is. It says 13 pages at the bottom. That's looking pretty good. Is that too dense, too tight? Can't tell from here necessarily. Not a bad idea. Print one page. Off to the left, print. Put in a one here, a one over there, and print just that, and then assess it. As you might have seen in a previous movie, sometimes what we do is just escape and decide, well, you know, maybe some of these columns we didn't need to print, then it won't look so crowded anyway. Maybe we don't need both compensations or the benefits maybe. Drag across here, right-click hide. Let's reassess that print again. Control P, fast way to get there. Well, now it might look a little strange. Something else you can do though, that makes sense at times, and you wouldn't instinctively go there, but when you're getting a print preview, off to the left, you'll see some choices, possibly make some margin changes. But I'm going to suggest, how about page setup? People have used Excel for a while will recognize this dialog box. Four tabs here, with lots of different choices. We could click margins and control the amount of white space on either side or on top. That can help in some cases. We could customize our header footer this way. We could go to the sheet tab here, not show the grid lines, make some other choices. But on the page tab, we might consider here, instead of this being 76, we could change this. Would this look better if it were 90? Or how about 100? What does that mean? We don't always know. Let's just click OK and watch our preview. 13 pages right now in the background. What is it now? 34 pages. That probably wasn't a great choice. So let's go back to page setup. Sometimes by altering this and jumping back and forth, it'll make some sense. I'll lower this to 90 one more time here. How's that looking? 16 pages, maybe that's the choice. But we're not always finished. We can go back to page setup, make some other choices. Now, oddly enough, if you're back in the Excel normal view, I'll simply press escape here. On the page layout tab, this group of options here is referred to as page setup. We just saw that as the name of the dialog box. Click right here, we're back to here. So sometimes you'll make your choices here before getting the print preview. And after making a choice here, here's a print preview button. So maybe go to sheet. Let's not show the grid lines. That has nothing to do with the regular display in the background, but our print preview will show this list without grid lines. That may or may not be your choice, but on the other hand, sometimes it might be. And once again, as we scroll here, something else that could be missing is that top row. So we could escape here. How about page setup here? We go to sheet tab here. Rows to repeat at top. How about row one? Click there, print preview, back here, back and forth. It's not uncommon to be making these choices, jumping back and forth between the preview and the actual printing. Sometimes you want to print just one page. But eventually, you'll get it figured out which way is going to work best for you. And that page break preview button in the lower right-hand corner is a good starting point.